After a weekend of closed-door negotiations, progress in Bamako. As a delegation from the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, has reportedly convinced leaders of last week's military coup in Mali to free ousted President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. Both the ECOWAS team and the military officers want the country to move on. We have reached a number of agreements, but we have not reached agreement in all the issues. Keita resigned last Tuesday after being arrested by military leaders. While the junta has said he could be allowed to return to his home in Bamako, speculation has grown in recent days that his release could entail him leaving the country. Coup leaders are now said to be seeking a military-led transitional body to govern the country for three years while it reviews the foundations of the Malian state. The 15-nation ECOWAS community initially denounced last week's unconstitutional power grab, calling for Keita's reinstatement but has since backed down amid widespread public support for the junta among Malians. Instead, the bloc has suspended Mali from its decision-making bodies while closing borders with the country and halting financial flows. Keita was re-elected to a second term in 2018, but had faced major street protests in recent months amid mounting public anger over a collapsing economy and the failure to quash a long-running Islamist insurgency in the country's north. Last week's coup was Mali's second in eight years. Concern is now growing that extended political instability there could allow the Islamist insurgency to gain strength and further threaten neighboring countries.